Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can clean your vehicle's floor mats or carpet using these three things that you see in front of you here. So on the left hand side we got the Bissell Little Pro Heat and in the middle we got the uh, Meguiar's All Purpose Cleaner. And right behind it I have my uh, Milwaukee drill with uh, a drill brush. That's actually brand new, I just got that uh, today. But using these three things, or I should say four things, you can professionally clean your vehicle's floor mats, the actual carpet, even um, any type of fabric inside the vehicle. And um, for that matter, you can pretty much clean any carpet, fabric, or uh, upholstery, even around the house. So the results that you get with this method kind of look like this. So here are the uh, floor mat, or one of the floor mats from my, from my Lexus RX350. And as you can see, the, the uh, side uh, that's a little closer to you here is way filthier than the other side. And I just made uh, the lines in the carpet there just to show the difference. But the amount of dirt that you can pull out is just insane using this method. And if you look here in the machine, I just use hot water on the left side and uh, no solution because my solution is just going to be all-purpose cleaner and you can use fabric cleaner if you want as well but this is what works for me so we're going to pull the tape off of uh, this the uh, middle here and we're going to take a look at the difference after I've uh, used this technique and those are some pretty uh, dramatic results there right side looks like a brand new um brand new carpet again and the left side is just absolutely filthy for a light colored carpet it's um quite the difference i'm going to show you an angle from this side because you can actually tell a little bit better so from this side the light's hitting a little bit uh, better and you can see the difference so these are results that anybody could achieve with uh little time and basically all you do is you um vacuum up the entire area that you're cleaning and then I followed it with a brush just to kind of get all the debris out of the nooks or the um, the fibers of the carpet and then after that I spray all-purpose cleaner down let it uh, let it soak into the uh, carpet for a few minutes follow up with a drill brush and agitate and I usually hit each area with a few passes with the drill brush and that's usually enough to uh, get the job done anything that requires any more you just Go over it a few more times and then I use the extractor to um, pull everything up and spray water as I'm pulling up the uh, the dirt and uh, the one thing to keep in mind if you're gonna be doing um, floor mats of a, most vehicles if they have something like this where the uh, emblem or the Lexus logo or whatever brand is on this sort of fabric material be careful on this you don't want to be too aggressive because you can start pulling the uh, fibers up so now that I've gone over the uh, process that I use, I'm going to put the uh, camera here on a tripod and I'll just show you the whole thing as well.
Before those last few passes there, I really slow down the speed of the actual extractor here to uh, get as much water out as possible. And I was actually putting a lot more pressure down as I was coming down as well. And each pass was overlapped at least by a third or if not half. And uh, that in combination with the pressure you're applying is really going to help you get as much water out of here as you possibly can with the extractor. And when you're doing automotive interior, getting as much moisture out is of the utmost importance because otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to have a wet carpet in your vehicle and it's just going to take forever to dry, maybe four or five hours if not longer. And then you're just going to create a lot of condensation and chance of mold and all that kind of stuff. So you really want to give the carpets the best chance that uh, you can. Okay guys, so that wraps up my tutorial on how to clean your vehicle's floor mats. Same method works for uh, carpet and uh, cloth seats as well. And just to recap quickly, we used a few um, tools here. We had the uh, Bissell Little Green carpet extracting machine there. And that's just a household thing that you can get off of Amazon. Made for pets, but it's a remarkable little machine for uh, automotive detailing as well. I have my Milwaukee drill, drill brush all-purpose cleaner and I added the uh, little detail brush here just to kind of better clean up the uh, the Lexus logo here because that material like I said earlier it's a little um, a little more uh, prone to uh, having fibers come up if you use the drill brush and aggressive methods but as you can see the after shots are uh, they're remarkable and they speak for themselves the carpet looks brand new again it's a little damp right now but it's not much it's going to probably dry in less than an hour and with the methods i use you can get professional results in your vehicle and uh, it's all something you can do yourself and this machine here it it is absolutely amazing it'll pay for itself i think i paid 90 bucks when it was on sale and uh yeah, incredible results from a few tools. So with that, guys, I'm going to be posting a lot more how-to videos coming up when the weather gets better here. And if you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.